So now I'm going to discuss another method to solve the problem, which is a completing the square. So kindly refer example 4. We have y squared minus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0. So first, before we start completing the square, do remember to make sure that the coefficient of y squared is equal to 1. So now, the completing the square has begun. y squared minus 4y plus bracket negative 4 over 2 squared minus negative 4 over 2 squared plus 3 equals to 0. Next, we are going to simplify. So y minus 2 bracket square minus 4 plus 3 which is equals to 0. Again, y minus 2 bracket square minus 1 equals to 0. So here we have the standard form. So now the question asks us to find the value of x. So we are going to simplify. So where we have y is equal to plus minus square root of 1 plus 2. So where y will be equal to 3, y will be equal to 1. As we all know, y actually is equal to 3x. Equals to 3. 3 power of x is equal to 1. So we have to equate the base. So for the left hand side, we know that we can compare. So x will become 1. Refer to the right hand side. 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 0. So from here, we have a same base, so we can compare the situation and x will be equal to 0. So now the third method will be the formula. So given that y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals to 0, where a is equals to 1, b equals to negative 4, and c equals to 3. So by using the formula given, we are going to substitute into the formula. So where we will have x will be equal to negative bracket negative 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 bracket square minus 4 a and c over 2 a. So x will be equal to 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 12 over 2. x will be equal to 4 plus minus square root of 4 over 2. x will be equal to 4 plus 2 over 2. x will be equal to 3. Another one will be x equals to 4 minus 2 over 2. x will be equals to 1. So here we are and thanks for watching.